lecture, we will discuss the production planning and control reference model, according to the framework issued by the American Production and Inventory Control Society. The production planning and control or PPNC process is an interfunctional, multi-objective activity in which plans are formulated answering to the following questions what to produce, when, how, with which resources, where and how much. The planning and control process is complex. It encompasses a number of steps or stages, each of which is characterized by specific goals, constraints taken into account, typically arising from decisions made at the previous steps, degrees of freedom, a certain level of aggregation of items and resources, a planning horizon, on turn split into planning periods. In particular, the PPNC process encompasses the following main phases. Strategic business plan, sales and operations planning, SNOP, master production schedule, MPS, materials requirement planning, MRP, operations and supplier scheduling, production activity control and supplier's performance management. Every phase will be defined and discussed in terms of inputs, degrees of freedom, level of aggregation and planning horizon, and output of the phase. The first stage of the PPNC process is the strategic business plan. The strategic business plan generally includes an organization's explicit mission, goals and objectives and defines a set of specific actions needed to achieve those goals and objectives. The definition of the strategic business plan is out of the scope of this course. Sales and Operations Planning SNOP, brings together all the plans for the business sales, marketing, development, manufacturing, sourcing and financial plans into one integrated set of plans. The process must reconcile all supply, demand and new product plans and tie them to the business plan. SNOP constitutes the definite statement of the company's plans for the near to intermediate term, covering a horizon sufficient to plan for resources and to support the annual business planning process. Executed properly, the sales and operations planning process links the strategic plans for the business with, with its execution and performance measurement for continuous improvement. Main inputs for this step are target turnover, indications on the expected balancing between time, costs and quality targets. SNOP aims at configuring and right-sizing the production system. Degrees of freedom at this stage are strategic make-or-buy decisions, production capacity modifications, product and process redesign with a manufacturing perspective, investments in automation, supply chain redesign, approach to demand fulfillment, make to order MTO versus make to stock MTS and volumes production, one-off versus batch production. In terms of leg level of aggregation and planning horizon, SNOP operates as follows. Demand is aggregated by commercial families, products with similar demand characteristics, which could be different from a technological point of view. Product capacity is considered in the most aggregate way, using as elementary unit the capacity of every plant unit per year. SNOP could span over several years, in general 
up to five, depending on the product's specificity. It is typically split into planning periods of one year and is updated every six to 12 months or upon request. From the operations side, main output of this phase is a plan indicating, albeit in a rough or aggregated way, how much to produce in every period of every product type in which production sites and with which resources.